Blessings to everyone. Once we come to the Lord, we know we live under grace. We came to the Lord also because of grace, God's grace. What is living under grace? Paul touches that in Romans chapter 6. Paul is asking a couple of questions. Chapter 6 verse 1, he says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue to sin that grace may abound? So we receive salvation even in midst of sin through grace. That is the faith that prompted us to come at the presence of the Lord. Verse 14 also Paul says towards the last portion, You are not under law anymore, but you are under grace. Verse 15 he says the same thing. You are not under law, you are under grace. What is that? Let's learn a few things. Verse 2 Paul says, Certainly not, we should not continue in sin. How shall we who died to sin live any longer in it? So grace starts a work where we don't want to live in sin. There is a change. Verse 6, he says, Knowing this, that our old man was crucified. So grace is working there. Verse 4, last portion, it says, Even so, we also should walk in newness of life. Old man crucified, newness of life. Verse 13, it says, Do not present your members as instruments of unrighteousness. There is a change of lifestyle. Say no to sin, and then the last portion it says, But present yourself to God as being alive from the dead, and your members as instrument of righteousness of God. Now onwards, we want to do righteous things. We are committed to do that. And while doing that, verse 14 it says, For sin shall have not uh, sin shall not have dominion over you. You're not driven by sin. Sin is not your master anymore. Verse 19. Paul makes it very, very clear. You know, present yourself as slaves of righteousness. Till now you are slaves of the world of sin. But now your slaves of righteousness. This is for us to understand. Paul is telling. So what is living under grace? That we walk in newness. We are crucified. The old man is crucified. Our members are present not for sin, but for righteousness. Sin does not have dominion over us. And we present ourselves as slaves of righteousness. There are so many teaching. In chapter 6, we just learn few things. Help us to ask ourselves and examine, am I really living under grace? God bless you.